Nick Jr. <laughs> Hello, Mailbox here. I heard Blue and Steve are going on a big treasure hunt. Wanna go with them? Type in your name and you can be a great treasure hunter with Steve and Blue. Or, if you've already started the treasure hunt, you can pick your name from the list. Mailbox here again. Do you want to play a new treasure hunt? Or if you want, you can play an old treasure hunt just by clicking on it. Oh, hi. Come on in. Blue. Look who's here. Hello. We are so glad you're here. Blue and I were just about to... Hello. It's a bug. Actually, I'm <clears throat> a treasure bug. A treasure bug? A treasure bug. Are you ready for the big treasure hunt? Hey, did this bug... I mean, treasure bug, say treasure hunt. Yep, you bet. And no treasure hunt is complete without... Ta-da! A treasure map! Oh! A treasure map. This is so great! Look at that! You'll find the treasure if you listen to me. Look for scrolls. I've hidden three. Follow the last scroll till you find the X. There you'll find me and my treasure chest. Then if you tell me one special friend's favorite treasure, the one that is her greatest pleasure, I will give you the first of three keys. To get into the land of great discovery, Go on all three hunts and get three keys. Then you can go into the land of great discovery. Yeah, Blue, a treasure hunt that will take us to the land of great discovery. Hey, well, how will we know whose favorite treasure we're looking for, Treasure Bug? Precisely why I am here, my friend. First, you must discover Paprika's favorite treasure, for it is, you see, her greatest pleasure. Paprika's favorite treasure, huh? I think we can do that. Hey, where are you going? To hide with the treasure chest. Oh, oh. So, we have to find three scrolls. We have to find Treasure Bug's hiding place. And we have to discover... Paprika's favorite treasure. That's a lot. Will you help? You will? Great! So, how are we going to figure out Paprika's favorite treasure? Do you know, Blue? Oh, I get it. We'll play Blue's Clues to figure it out. Will you help? You will? Great. We are going to play Blue's Clues. Cause it's a really great game. Yeah. So remember, Blue's paw print will be on the clues. Blue's clues. <sighs> so, uh, now what should we do? Clean off the paw print. Clean off the paw print. Good thinking. But how should we do it? Ooh, look. What's your choice? Just click on it. Wow, it's a super special treasure hunt glittery star on a stick. Why didn't I think of that? Wow. Let's go. Okay, now that we cleaned up that paw print, we need our handy dandy... Notebook! Notebook, right. Now... Where did I put that notebook, anyway? Ooh. You're looking for this, Steve? I sure am. Whoa! Thanks, side table drawer. 
You're welcome, Steve. You know, I can tell I'm really going to need your help today trying to figure out what Paprika's favorite treasure is. Will you help? Great. Now, to play Blue's Clues, we got to find three... Uh... What do we have to find three of? What's your choice? Just click on it. Three socks? Yes, it is. It's three socks. No, no, it's not. Hmm. Maybe we need to find three of something else. Three blues? Now, even I know that there's only one blue. So what is it we need to find three of to figure this out? Paw prints. Three paw prints. Yeah, that's it. Because paw prints are our... Clues. Clues, yeah. And each time we find one, we put it in our... Notebook. Notebook, right. And when we find our last clue, we go to our... Uh, where do we go? What's your choice? Just click on it. We take a bath. I don't think we take a bath unless we get really dirty. So where do we go after we find all three clues? We go to bed? I hope we're not that tired after playing Blue's Clues. So where is it we need to go after finding all three clues? The thinking chair. Right, of course. Okay, so, guess we're ready to start looking for clues. Great. Wait a minute. What's this? It's our first treasure hunt scroll. And it was in the thinking chair. So, let's look at our treasure map. Let's put our first sticker in the first spot. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Now, let's read our treasure hunt scroll. Here's the treasure hunt hint. You'll find our next scroll with someone who has spots of dark pink and even a tail that wags, I think. All right, cool. I wonder who that could be. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Know what my most treasured thing is? Being the one who gets to keep Steve's handy dandy notebook safe and sound when he's not using it. One of the things I treasure most in this room is the thinking chair. Yeah, because that's where I do most of my best thinking. I wonder what's in my piggy bank, Blue. Wow! Two blue dollars! We better hold on to this. I made up a rhyme! Wanna hear it? Tickety tickety tock! That's me! And I'm a clock! My hands go round, and this is my sound! Tickety tickety tock! This is where I sleep. You know, last night Blue said I was... Blue said I was snoring. Can you believe that? <laughs> where should we go next? The bathroom? The bedroom. Outside. It's a lot of choices. I'm really glad you're here to help me out. Ahoy, 
matey. It's me, Captain Slippery Soap, sailing the open waters of the bathtub. Whoa! Whoa! Treasure hunt, treasure hunt, Boo just wants a treasure hunt. Oh, that's it. You are so smart. The treasure hunt scroll leads to magenta. Now where does that sticker go? Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Thanks, Blue. Let's read our next scroll. Okay, treasure hunters. Here's the hint. Search for someone soft and brown. She is the furriest one around. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep that in mind as we continue on our treasure hunt. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Mail time, mail time, mail time. Guess what I got today? A postcard from Treasure Bug saying he's arriving here today for treasure hunt. Wow, hey, but he's already here. Guess the mail was a little slow this week. Wouldn't it be great if Blue and I could mail ourselves to you? Yeah, that would be cool. Sometimes, Blue and I look around here for bugs. I mean, other than treasure bugs. Guess what? We saw treasure bug. Yeah, he said you were on a treasure hunt. He said he was hiding in the... Don't say it, Shovel. We don't want to give away the secret. No way. Hey, you know what I like to do in the sand? Write my name. Have you ever done that? No, not write my name. I mean, write your name. Yeah. Where should we go next? The bathroom? The bedroom? Outside. It's a lot of choices. I'm really glad you're here to help me out. What are my favorite treasures? Wow, uh, green striped shirt, green striped teddy bear, definitely. Uh, ooh, my picture of me in blue. What's your favorite treasure? Really? Cool. One of the things I treasure most in this room is the thinking chair. Yeah because that's where I do most of my best thinking. Hi, 
Blue. What do you like to eat at snack time? You do? My favorite is banana slices smeared with peanut butter on top. Knock, knock. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? Snow use. I can't find where I bury the treasure. <laughs> See that? Blue just skidooed right into that poster. Come on, let's go. Blue skidoo, we can too. Wow, check it out. We are in the Kitchen Art Museum. I always wanted to come here. This is going to be good. Food as art. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Huh, it won't open. There's got to be a way to make it work. It's a treasure hunt, a treasure hunt. I just love a treasure hunt. Oh, oh. Cool. Very high tech. Hello, and welcome to the Kitchen Art Museum. My grandma makes art with pancakes. She can even make my name with pancakes. S-T-E-V-E. -E. And then I get to eat my name for breakfast. Mm -mm. Oh no! It looks like this picture got all mixed up. I hope you can help me put it back the way it's supposed to be. Bow, bow. That looks so much better. Now I can even tell what it is. <laughs> and it's my kind of art. Thank you. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. You're a good picture fixer. A clue, a clue! What? Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. There, on the moon. Hey, a paw print on the moon. Wow. You know what this means. We need our handy dandy notebook. Will you help me draw this clue? Okay. Okay, so will you help me draw this clue by using the shapes? Which three of these shapes make up our clue? Yep, that's it. Cool. You figured out where to put that shape. Maybe that shape isn't quite right. Yeah, those shapes go together to make the clue. The moon starts with a big curve that's like part of a circle, then a smaller curve that goes back to the start. There, a moon. That was our first clue. Okay, so the moon is part of Paprika's favorite treasure. I wonder what her treasure could be. Any ideas? I guess we need to find two more clues. Uh-oh. You know what? It looks like there's a lot more pictures to fix than just the moon picture. I hope you can help me. And fast! Oh, 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 oh. It's 
looking better. You sure are good at fixing these pictures. Maybe you should work in a museum one day. You can fix a different picture by clicking on these arrows. Try clicking on a piece in the picture and moving it into the place you think it should go. Then click again and it'll stick there. New picture coming up. Good going! You sure are good at fixing these pictures. Maybe you should work in a museum one day. <laughs> That's it! that one. Thank you very much. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> I think that's right. I think that's right. Bow, bow. That looks perfect. Thanks again. Bow, bow, bow. That's it. See you later. Bow, bow. Treasure map! Want to read our scroll again? Cool. Okay, treasure hunters. Here's the hint. Search for someone soft and brown. She is the furriest one around. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. As we continue on our treasure hunt. Just click on the yellow... Bow, 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 bow. Oh, yeah. It's nothing like a good skidoo. Hello, Blue. Hello, Blue. Really? Where? Over there! Oh, there's a clue on Paprika's peanut shell bed. Now what do we do? Right, we need our handy dandy. Nope. Will you help me draw this clue? Thanks. We're ready to draw this clue. Can you help me? You can draw it by using just three of these shapes. Maybe that shape isn't quite... Yeah, that shape goes there. Yeah, those shapes go together to make the clue. Paprika's peanut shell bed has a big curvy line here and another curvy line here. Some more curvy lines for the blanket, like so. And finally, some little marks to finish the shell. Hey, that was our second clue. Okay, so we have a peanut shell bed and the moon. What could Paprika's favorite treasure be that has a bed and the moon? I wonder. Ooh, guess we need to find another clue. It is so nice of you to find out what is the favorite treasure of our little Paprika. Hello. So I hear you are playing Blue's Clues to find out what is the favorite treasure of my little paprika. I wonder what it is, Mrs. Pepper. I have an idea or two, Mr. Salt, but I think it is better if they play Blue's Clues to figure it out. Paprika hungry. Oh, then here is your bottle, my little one.
Sometimes, Blue and I look around here for bugs. I mean, other than treasure bugs. Mail time, mail time, mail time. Guess what I got today? A postcard from Treasure Bug saying he's arriving here today for a treasure hunt. Wow, hey, but he's already here. Guess the mail was a little slow this week. We could check out the school, head over to the park, go back to the house. It's up to you. One, two, three. Follow me. Hello, Blue. Hello, Steve. Hello, Blue. I'm decorating the bulletin board for fall. Bow. Only I don't have any fall leaves for my tree. Fall leaves? I bet we could find some for you while we're out and about. Oh, goody! Here, you can use this basket. Bow. I need four leaves, and each of them should be a different color, okay? Bow. Bow. Blue learned how to count by tens to fifty. I think it went ten... Do you know? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I love fall, I love fall, and lots of falling leaves. I love the season, and you can't have a very colorful fall without fall leaves. Hi, Blue. Jack and Jill. Ooh, I like that one. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Poor Jack and Jill. Hey, you know what Blue made? She took a potato and she cut it in half, and then she dipped it in paint and stamped it on paper. Well, it looked really cool. Okay, now this is one of my favorite stories. Here's three clues. <clears throat> a pig, some bricks, and a wolf. What is it? Three little pigs. Yeah, you're right. Three little pigs. You're amazing. Off to the park. Let's jog. Hey, you want to know one of Blue's favorite things to do in the park? Here's three clues. A blanket, a basket, and sandwiches. Any ideas? A picnic. A picnic. Yeah, exactly right. Park. 
like. Hi, Blue. Yep, the scroll leads to me. Oh, you did it. That's so cool. Now let's look at our treasure map. Okay, let's put the baby bear sticker where it belongs. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Hey, Steven Blue. Treasure Bug wanted me to give you something. I hope it's not too wet. Oh, that's okay, Baby Bear. We really need it. And sheesh, what's a little water anyway? Ooh. Thanks, Blue. Will you read it with me? Great. Here goes. Our third hint. Come look for the X in a place where Blue plays along with her friends on bright, sunny days. Whoa, an X. Did you hear that? Huh. I wonder where that is. We're just going to have to, you know, hunt for it. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. You know, Blue loves to play hide-and-seek in the park. Hey, I'll close my eyes, you hide, okay? Ready, go. One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Wow, you're a really good hider. <laughs> wow. There's so many colors on these leaves. Do you know why? It's fall. Oh. Oh, it's fall. Right. I knew that. Don't you just love those falling leaves? Hmm. Green Kitten said she needed four leaves, and each of them should be a different color. Ready to catch them in the basket, Blue? Oh. Oops, we don't need any more of that color. Oh, right. Hey, hey, we did it. Hey, I know, Blue. Why don't you put those leaves for Green Kitten in a safe place, and you can catch some more if you want to. Now, how about getting hmm, three brown leaves, three yellow leaves? Cool, you got it. All leaves caught and accounted for. Okay, now catch three brown leaves, three yellow leaves. Got it. Nice catch. Hey, Blue, I know someone who's going to be really happy with her leaves. Green kitten. Yeah, come on. Me. 
At Blue's school, she gets to play with her friends, she gets to paint, she learns a lot of things too. She is so smart, like you. Blue learned how to count by tens to fifty. Leaves, thank you. Four different colors, and they're so pretty. Now I can finish decorating. Really? Where? On the book. The book? Wow, that is great. Now we need our handy dandy. You are so right. Hey, you'll help me draw this clue, right? Cool. I'll need your help drawing this clue. You can do it by using three of these shapes. Yeah, that shape goes there. Cool, that looks like the clue to me. This book has a rectangle shape for the cover and another long skinny rectangle for the edge and some straight lines to show the back cover and the pages. Hey, that's our third clue. A peanut shell bed, a book, and the moon. We have all three clues. Do you know what this means? We're ready to sit in our thinking chair. Let's go. Okay, now that we're in our thinking chair, let's think. So, we're trying to figure out what Paprika's favorite treasure is. And our clues are her peanut shell bed, a storybook, and the moon. Well, what could Paprika's favorite treasure be that has to do with her bed, a book, and the moon? Do you know? Paprika's favorite treasure is sleeping in her bed on the moon. That's pretty silly, and I don't see a book anywhere. Do you? Hmm. Her favorite treasure is probably something else. Yeah. Paprika's favorite treasure is a book about the moon. Well, there's a book and a moon, but I don't see her bed. Maybe her favorite treasure is something else. <laughs> That's it. Paprika's favorite treasure is being in bed with a book at night. It's a bedtime story. Hey, that's great. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out blues clues. We just figured out blues clues. We just figured out blues clues. Because we're really smart. Right, Blue. Let's go find Paprika and tell her we figured it out. Come on. Hey, Paprika, we figured out what your favorite treasure is. Yep. It's a bedtime story. It is indeed, Steve. You are so smart. Well, you know, I, I had some help. I was just going to read Paprika a story. Would you like to help? It would be such a treat. Yeah, sure. Oh, boy! Paprika just loves her bedtime stories. Would you like to help make up some to tell her? Yes, and if you want to hear one of the stories, just click on us. Right, Mrs. Pepper? Right, Mr. Salt. Oh, and if you want to change the story, just click on the little pictures. Then you can pick another picture and voila! Paprika will have a new story to hear.
Oh, I will read the story. One day, Steve hunted for treasure with a fox. They got a scroll from mailbox. Then they found a big treasure chest filled with the socks they love best. What a great story! A chair. Mrs. Pepper, will you read this to our paprika? Of course, Mr. Salt. One day, Steve hunted for treasure with blue. They got a scroll from purple kangaroo. Then they found a big treasure chest filled with the books they love best. What a great story! Voila, a new story. <clears throat> Let me see. Goldilocks went into the house of the three bears. First she ate up baby bear's porridge. Then she sat on baby bear's chair. Finally, she climbed into baby bear's bed and fell fast asleep. What a great story! <clears throat> Let me see. Goldilocks went into the house of the three bears. First she ate up baby bear's train set. Then she sat on baby bear's cactus. Finally, she climbed into baby bear's closet and fell fast asleep. That's a good story. Click here to go to a different story. More story! But of course, my little paprika. Blue really loves to go to the school. She thinks the books. They are really cool. Most of all, she loves to play with her friend Steve every day. Oh, what a story! Playground! Launches! Swings! Launches! Orange! Here is your story. Blue really loves to go to the beach. She thinks the lunches. They are really cool. Most of all, she loves to play with her friend Orange Kitten every day. Okay, Paprika, ready? Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. What a great story! Monkey! Ice cream! Flowers! Let me see. Mary had a little pig. Its fleece was white as flowers. And everywhere that Mary went, the pig was sure to go. Now that was a fine story. Click here to go to a different story. More story. But of course, my little paprika. Blue's favorite thing is a ball, so blue. Steve's favorite thing is a green striped car. It's true. Shovel and Pail like to dig in the sand table, so deep. And Little Paprika likes to go to sleep. That's a good story! Bird! Cookie! 
Teddy Bear. Toy Box. More story. But of course, my little paprika. Blue's favorite thing is a bird. So blue. Steve's favorite thing is a green striped banana. It's true. Shovel and pail like to dig in the bathtub. So deep. And little paprika likes to go to sleep. Oh, I do like that story. Voila, a new story. Ready for our story? Yay, story! One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a really big hen. Oh, I do like that story. Spaghetti. Door. Apple core. Okay, Paprika, ready? One, two, buckle my spaghetti. Three, four, shut the pancake. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a really big pizza? That's a good story! Click here to go to a different story. Oh, I will read the story. Paprika listens to her favorite book, Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack climbs up to the clouds before he can save the golden goose. Paprika falls fast asleep. What a great story! Pick sand table. More story! But of course, my little Paprika. Paprika listens to her favorite book, Jacques and the Pickle. Jacques climbs up to the spaghetti before he can save the golden frog. Paprika falls fast asleep. Let's start a new story. <coughs> Let me see. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. I like that story. Here is your story. Blue invited all her friends to her birthday party. She made a big birthday cake and played pin the flag on mailbox. Happy birthday, Blue! Oh, what a story! New story! Story, story! Okay, Paprika, ready? Hansel and Gretel set off through the forest. They came upon a witch's big house. What was it made of? gingerbread and candy. Hansel and Gretel ate it all up. Yum yum. I like that story. Bowling balls. Hat. Pickles. Flowers. <coughs> Let me see. Hansel and Gretel set off through the bowling balls. They came upon a witch's big nose. What was it made of? Gingerbread and flowers. Hansel and Gretel ate it all up. Yum yum. What a great story. Ba -ba -ba. Sweet dreams, little paprika.
This is so exciting. When we find Treasure Bug, we can tell him that we figured out Paprika's favorite treasure. Hey, Blue, we're off to school. An X. An X marks the spot. I bet I know what's hiding there. You found me! Now if you know Paprika's favorite treasure, the one that is her greatest pleasure, I will give you the first key to the land of great discovery. We know what her favorite treasure is, Treasure Bug. Paprika's favorite treasure is a bedtime story. All right. Then I have something to you from me. It is a very special key. The first one to the land of great discovery. It's a book. I didn't realize that a book was a key. Well... Let's go try it in our bookcase. Okay, here we are. Now what do we do? The book! The book? What should we do with the book? Put it away! Oh, put it away. Good idea. So, where do you think it'll fit? Wow, the book was a key. A key to the secret passageway to the land of great discovery. Let's go. It's locked. We must need another key. Oh, yeah. We'll play another treasure hunt with Treasure Bug. Then we'll get another key. Okay, let's start the next treasure hunt. Yeah. Mailbox here again. Do you want to play a new treasure hunt? Or if you want, you can play an old treasure hunt just by clicking on it. Mailbox. Are you ready to play the next treasure hunt? Or you can start the old one over again if you want. Just click on the picture you want. Okay? Great. You're back. Do you know how happy I am that you're back? So happy. See, Blue? They're back. <laughs> what should we do? I'm here. You're here. Blue's here. We could, uh... Ahem. It's the treasure bug! We're so glad you're here! Is it time for another... Treasure hunt! It's time to hunt for more scrolls. And when you find me, I'll have the second key to unlock the land of great discovery. Whoa. It's another treasure hunt. What do we have to find? What's your choice? Just click on it. Three scrolls. Three scrolls. Of course. That's correct. But to get the key, you must tell me. Mailbox's favorite treasure, for it is, you see, his greatest pleasure. Farewell, my friends. Oh, wait. Mr. Bug? We...
Where did he go? Oh, right. He's hiding the treasure chest. So we have to find three scrolls, discover Treasure Bug's hiding place, and find out Mailbox's favorite treasure. Whoa, that's a lot. You know, I'm really going to need your help on this. So how will we find out Mailbox's favorite treasure? Oh, I get it. We'll play Blue's Clues to figure it out. Will you help? You will? Great. We are going to play Blue's Clues, because it's a really great game. Yeah. So remember, Blue's paw print will be on the clues. Blue's Clues. <sighs> so, uh, now what should we do? Clean off the paw print. Clean off the paw print. Good thinking. But how should we do it? Ooh, look. Hey, we could use one of these things. But which one? What's your choice? Just click on it. Oh, a flute. Cool. <clears throat> there. Clean as a whistle. Or make that clean as a flute. Okay, this is great. Now all we need is our handy dandy notebook. Notebook. Right, see? Still got it right here. So now we can figure out what Mailbox's favorite treasure is. All we have to do is find three, um, what do we have to find three of? Paw prints. Paw prints, right, because those are the clues. Blue's clues. So, what are we waiting for? I don't know. Steve, maybe you're waiting for this? Uh, no, side table drawer. We already have our notebook. No, I know you have the notebook. It's something else. Something else? What else could she have? <laughs> Ooh! It's a scroll! Our first scroll for our treasure hunt! Thanks, side table drawer. Hey, now let's look at our treasure map. Let's start our new treasure hunt by putting our side table drawer sticker where it belongs. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Okay, let's read our treasure hunt scroll. Here's the treasure hunt hint. The next scroll is with someone who likes bubbles and he likes to be clean. And soon, I think, you'll see what I mean. Cool. We're on the case. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. up a rhyme. Want to hear it? Tickety tickety tock. That's me and I'm a clock. My hands go round and this is my sound. Tickety tickety tock. Ahoy matey. You did it! Yes! That's where the scroll leads. Wow. Are you smart or what? Now we can stick down the slippery sticker on our map. Boom, boom. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Oh, Steve, Blue, I think I have something for you. Whoa! Whoa! Here you go! Boom, boom. Yes, thank you, Slippery. Mm. Thanks, Blue. Will you read it with me? Great. Now hunt for orange stripes and a very long tail. I know you can do it. I know you won't fail. All right, we're on the lookout. Just click on the yellow arrow 
when you're ready to leave. Hi, Blue. Hello, Blue. We're writing letters to our friends. Yeah, and making pictures. But we have a problem. We have our pictures. And we have our letters and the envelopes and addresses. But we're forgetting something. I just know it. Will you help us find what we need? Oh, thanks, Blue. Hope you come back and help us soon. Thanks a bunch. We're writing letters to our friends. Yeah, and making pictures. But we have a problem. We have our pictures. And we have our letters and the envelopes and addresses. But we're forgetting something. I just know it. Will you help us find what we need? Oh, thanks, Blue. Hope you come back and help us soon. Thanks a bunch. I'm finally getting around to putting my stamp collection together. Oh, hey, is that your favorite treasure? Because you know we're out on this big treasure hunt looking for your favorite treasure. My stamp collection is a treasure, all right. But not my favorite treasure. Oh. Well, what is your favorite treasure? I have an idea or two. But you're gonna have to... Figure it out. Oh, look. Postage stamps. Those? They're extras. I already have some like that. Do you want them? Thanks. You know, these might come in handy. Let's hold on to them. <laughs> hey, Blue. We're off to school. Hello, hello. Can you help me? I'm lost. You're lost. Of course we can help you. Where do you belong? With my other bird friends. Hey, why don't you come with us until we find your friends? Okay, thanks. Holding up. Oh. oh. Seven. You're good. Hi, Blue. Bye -bye. Yep. That's for me. Yes. Cool. We did it. Now we can stick down an orange kitten sticker on our map. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. I wonder where we'll find our next scroll. You know what? Somebody left something here for you. Thanks, Blue. 
Let's read our next scroll. Are you ready? Yeah, we're getting so close. Okay, here goes. Ready? Okay. Come and find me if you can. Just look for the X right in the sand. Whoa, did you hear that, treasure hunters? Do you know where that X is? Okay, let's go hunt for treasure bug. Looks like Blue just skadooed into that nursery rhyme book. Well, what are we waiting for? Blue skate too. We can too. <coughs> nursery rhyme land is one of my favorite places. <coughs> Blues too. Oh, can you help? Can we help? Miss Muffet, of course we can help. I'm Steve, and this is Blue, and she is a big fan of yours. You know me. Oh, oh good, because I've been saying my rhyme over and over, and I just can't remember the last part. See, little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. <laughs> Along came a... That's the part that I can't figure out. I can't remember who came along. Hmm. What could it be? Who came along next to Little Miss Muffet? Could it be one of these, Miss Muffet? I think so. Will you help? Who was it that comes along in Little Miss Muffet's story? It's a caterpillar. Along came a caterpillar. No, a calico doesn't sound right. A spider. It's along came a spider who sat down beside her. A spider? Yes, now I remember. And frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah, that's it. It was a spider. She's right. Wow, and she hardly touched her curds and whey. Well, all in a day's work. Yeah, just love a good skidoo. Looks like Blue just skidooed into that nursery rhyme book. Well, what are we waiting for? Blue skidoo, too. We can too. Nursery Rhyme Land is one of my favorite places. Blues too. What a day, what a day. Hey, that's the mouse from Hickory Dickory Dock. What's the matter, mouse? This big spider ran by and frightened all the numbers right off my clock. Without my numbers, I can't tell what time I'm supposed to run up the clock. I need help. Big spider, huh? That sounds familiar. Hey, you can help with numbers, right? Great. Don't worry, mouse. We'll hunt down those numbers and you'll be climbing up that clock quicker than you can count to ten. You mean twelve. Twelve? That's how many numbers there are on a clock. Oh, right. My clock just isn't my clock without its numbers. My clock just isn't... <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you're here. Do you know what happened? Oh? Twelve numbers came running in here. And some of them are hiding in my garden. Will you find them for me? Okay, let's see. See the flower that's between the orange flower and the red flower? There's a number behind there. A blue flower. Oops, 
that's not the right spot. Here's what I said again. See the flower that's between the orange flower and the red flower? There's a number behind there. Six. Boom, boom. Two. Uh-oh, that's not the same number. Can you put it on the number that matches? Six. <laughs> that's right. So, let's see. Okay, now see if you can find another one. See the big bush and the red flower? Right between them is another flower. I think you'll find the number hiding there. A blue flower. Oops, that's not the right spot. Here's what I said again. See the big bush and the red flower? Right between them is another flower. I think you'll find the number hiding there. Two. Ba Two. Yes, that's it. Now, now, see if you can find the next one. Look behind the red flower that's just below the small tree. Nine. Boom, boom. Nine. Great. Wow, you're good at this. Boom, boom. Now my garden is neat and tidy, thanks to you. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Whoopee, my numbers are back. Thank you. I'm going to have a talk with those numbers and remind them that spiders are not that scary. Okay, now watch this. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse, that's me, ran up the clock. The clock struck one. And down he runs. Hickory Dickory Dock. Whoopee, whoopee, double whoopee. A clue, a clue! Really? Where? Up there, on the clock. You were right. How great is that? <laughs> you know what we need now? Our handy dandy? Notebook. Right. You know, I could use a little help drawing this clue. Okay. So will you help me draw this clue by using the shapes? Which three of these shapes make up our clue? Hmm. Try another shape there. Yep, that's it. Cool, that's where that shape goes. Look at that. Those shapes make our clue. Start with two circles. Add two straight arrows for the hands, here and here. This is where the numbers go, 1 to 12. Okay, it's a clock that tells time. That was our first clue. Okay, so part of Mailbox's favorite treasure is a clock that tells time. Hmm, I wonder what the treasure could be. Any ideas? I think we need to find two more clues. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. That's me. The clock struck five. And down he dived. Whee! Hickory Dickory Dock. Yeah, just love a good skidoo. Oh, Jack be nimble, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Good job, Jack. Now yellow, and red, and I made orange.
Off to the park. Let's jog. Excuse me. Anybody seen our friend Redbird around? We're supposed to be singing. Your friend is a red bird? You know, I think we know exactly where your friend is. Zippity A, I'm back. Thanks. Okay, birdies, hit it. I love that song. You see a clue? Where? Over there! Oh, you are so right. There it is, on this music. You know what we need? Our handy dandy notebook. Oh, and I also need your help to draw this clue, okay? We're ready to draw this clue. Can you help me? You can draw it by using just three of these shapes. Yep, that's it. Cool, that looks like the clue to me. To show music, we start with a straight line, add a circle shape, and a little flag shape. Draw a couple more straight lines, more circle shapes. Now, connect these notes with two straight lines. There, it's music. Hey, that was our second clue. It looks like a clock that tells time and music are two parts of Mailbox's favorite treasure. I wonder what it could be. I guess we need that last clue. letters to our friends. Yeah, and making pictures. But we have a problem. We have our pictures. And we have our letters and the envelopes and addresses. But we're forgetting something. I just know it. Will you help us find what we need? Oh! Thanks, Blue. Hope you come back and help us soon. Thanks a bunch. Stamps. That's what we needed. Yeah! Thanks, Steve! Thanks, Blue! <laughs> but now we have another problem. See? Everything's ready to mail. But our letters and pictures got all mixed up. Yeah! We don't know which picture goes with which letter. Can you help us? Bow, bow. Great! Okay, listen to this letter. Dear Paprika, what do you like to drink before you go to bed? See if you can match my picture up to Pale's letter, okay? When I show the pictures to you, click on the one you think is right, okay? Bow, bow. Hmm, I'm not sure that's the one we're looking for. I know. Let me read the letter one more time. Dear Paprika, what do you like to drink before you go to bed? <laughs> hey, you're good at this. Can you put my picture with the letter, please? Okay. So... Listen to this one, okay? Dear Magenta, guess what? We're learning how to tell time. Okay, get ready to pick the picture that goes with Pale's letter. <laughs> yeah, that's the picture. It's time to put my picture with Pale's letter.
Ready to go. Ooh, listen to this one. Dear Steve, is your favorite snack still a yellow fruit? Get ready to pick the right picture. <laughs> All right, that's it. Can you put my picture with the letter, please? Got it. Here's another letter. Dear Purple Kangaroo, do you know the rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle? Who ran away at the end of the rhyme? Okay, which one of these goes with Pale's letter? <laughs> oh, of course. That's it. So could you put my picture... There. Okay, now listen to this. Dear Treasure Bug, sometimes we like to go on a treasure hunt too. Now which picture goes with Pale's letter? <laughs> yes, you got it. Can you put my picture... Okay. Ooh, listen to this one. Dear Steve, when you were a really tiny baby, what did you drink out of? Okay, see if you can pick the picture. Got it. Here's another letter. Dear Mailbox, what do you spend most of your time doing? Now which picture goes with the letter? <laughs> Ready to go. So, listen to this one, okay? Dear Slippery, we know something that will float in the bathtub. See if you can pick the picture that goes with that letter. <laughs> that was great. Can you put my picture with the letter, please? There. Okay. Now listen to this. Dear Magenta, next time you come to play, maybe we'll build a whole town. Hmm, do you know which picture goes with that letter? <laughs> you did it! Can you put my picture with the letter, please? Okay. Here's another letter. Dear Purple Kangaroo, you like to bounce. What else bounces? So which one of my pictures goes with Pale's letter? <laughs> oh yeah! You found it! Thanks! Got it. Okay, now listen to this. Dear Tickety, a good place to spend time is a library. Okay, get ready to pick the picture that goes with Pale's letter. Thanks a double lot. Thanks a bunch. A clue, a clue. What? Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you. Over there! Oh, on this mail. 
So mail must be part of mailboxes' favorite treasure. You know what we need? Our handy dandy notebook, right? You will help me draw this, right? Okay. I'll need your help drawing this clue. You can do it by using three of these shapes. Yeah, that shape goes... Maybe that's not right. Look at that. Those shapes make our clue. The top letter is a rectangle. Little drawings show who it's from and who it's to. The stamp is a little square shape. Now add some straight lines back in here. Great! A stack of mail. Hey, that's our third clue. Mail, a clock that tells time, and music. We have all three clues. Do you know what this means? We're ready to sit in our thinking chair. Let's go. Okay, now that we're in our thinking chair, let's think. So, we're trying to figure out what Mailbox's favorite treasure is. And our clues are... Mail. A clock that tells time. And... Music. So, what could Mailbox's favorite treasure be with... Mail, a clock that tells time, and music. What do you think? <coughs> Mailbox's favorite treasure is a cuckoo clock. No, hold it. A cuckoo clock does tell time, and it sings a song, but I don't see any mail. Do you? Maybe his favorite treasure is something else. Hey, you got it. Mail, a clock that tells time, and musical notes from a song. Mailbox's favorite treasure is the Mail Time song. Hey, that's great. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues. Oh. We just figured out Blue's Clues. Oh. We, just out Blue's clues. Oh. we just figured out Blue's Clues. Because we're really smart. Oh. Right, Blue. Now let's go tell Mailbox we figured out his favorite treasure. Come on. Bow, bow. Hey, Mailbox. We figured out your favorite treasure. Well then, let me have it. It's the Mail Time song. It certainly is. I have many treasures, but the Mail song is definitely my favorite. And I've got something for you, too. For us? Oh. Thanks, Mailbox. Hey, Blue, isn't this great? Now we can play the Mail Time song for Mailbox. Oh, look at that, my friend. My greatest and most favorite treasure is already in the cassette player. Can you do me a favor and play it for me, please? Just click on the green button, okay? How I love my song. No doubt about it. It's my favorite. Thank you for playing it for me. If you want to learn to play it yourself, click on the button of Blue playing the piano. Oh, this is great. You can learn how to play some of our favorite Blue's Clues songs. Just click on the keys with the pictures on them. Okay, so let's play Mail Time. And oops, oops. Oh, that was fantabulous! You did a great job playing that song. Now, if you want to hear the song you just learned to play, 
click on the button of Blue's ears. Hear what you learned to play. The We Just Figured Out Blue's Clues song. Just click on the arrows to see more tapes. We just figured out Blue's Clues. 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 Because we're really smart. And here it comes, the We Just Figured Out Blue's Clues song. Oops! Hey, you did it! What a musician! Oranges grow on trees! Oranges grow on trees, on trees, oranges grow on trees. Kids go down, down in the ground, we go down in the ground. We grow on vines, on vines, and watch me grow on vines, on vines, and big old bugs on vines, on vines, on vines, on vines. Vines go on trees, on trees, oranges go on trees. Kids go down, down in the ground, we go down in the ground. We grow on vines, on vines, and watch me grow on vines, on vines, on vines, and big old bugs on vines, on vines, on vines, on vines. Learn oranges grow on trees. Here goes. Oh, great playing, great song! The Planet Song. Well, the sun's a hot star. The Planet Song. Let her rip. Yeah, that's it. What a song, huh? Hear what you learned to play. Lowe's birthday song. Have a happy birthday, you. You'll have a great day. Everybody play, it's Blue's special day, happy birthday! Ow! 
Let's Lowe's birthday song. Okay, let's. Oops. Hey, you did it! What a musician! Up a mountain! Up a mountain! Here we go! Oh, that was fantabulous! You Healthy snacks. Healthy snacks. Healthy snacks. We love to eat yum. Healthy snacks. Carrots, bananas, and celery too. Yum. We love to eat healthy snacks, don't you? Healthy snacks. Healthy snacks. I love to eat yum. Healthy snacks. Carrots, bananas, and celery too. I love to eat healthy snacks. Don't you? Healthy snacks. Okay, let's play. Oops. Oh, great playing, great song! Blues Clues! To play Blues Clues, we gotta find... Blue's Big Treasure Song. Blue's Big Treasure Song. Here goes. Oh, great playing, great song!
That's a long song. That's a long song. Here we go. Oops. 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 Oops, oops. Oops. Yeah, that's it. What a song, huh? Thanks for playing. See ya. This is great. Now when we find Treasure Bug, we can tell him that we figured out what Mailbox's favorite treasure is. All right. <laughs> Off to the park. Let's jog. Hi, Blue. Wow. An X. An X marks the spot. I bet I know what's hiding there. Now if you know Mailbox's favorite treasure, the one that is his greatest pleasure, I will give you the second key to the land of great discovery. We know what his favorite treasure is. Mailbox's favorite treasure is the Mail Time Song. Of course it is. Then I have something to you from me. It is a very special key. The second one to the land of great discovery. A xylophone? That's a funny key. I guess you never know what to expect with Treasure Bug. Let's go see how this key works. Okay, now it's time to use this key. This xylophone key. Maybe we should play this xylophone the same way the door just played it. What a great idea. Maybe we should try it again. That's it! Now, I wonder what's gonna happen. Wow! Look at that! There it is. 
The land of great discovery. We're almost there. But it's really far away. Hey, maybe we need another key to get there. Looks like we better finish the big treasure hunt. Yeah. Mailbox here again. Do you want to play a new treasure hunt? Or if you want, you can play an old treasure hunt just by clicking on it. Oh, there you are. Lou's got to be around here somewhere. But where? She's over there. Oh, there she is. Come on, Blue. Oh, wow. You got here fast. See, I was just about to eat one of my most treasured snacks. A banana muffin. Boom, boom. Yep, while we're waiting for Treasure Bug to show up for our next treasure hunt, I'll just have a little bite. Oh, Steve, so sorry, but he is already hiding. Oh, but how can he be hiding? We don't even know what he needs to know. Boom. I mean, how are we going to get the last key to open up the door to the land of great discovery? I know, Steve. Oh, she knows. Hey, did you hear that? Mrs. Pepper knows. So tell us, Mrs. Pepper, what does Treasure Bug need to know? He needs to know the favorite treasure of Blue's friend Magenta. Oh, Magenta. But how are we going to figure out what Magenta's favorite treasure is? Oh, I get it. We'll play Blue's Clues to figure it out. Will you help? You will? Great. We are going to play Blue's Clues, because it's a really great game. Yeah. So remember, Blue's paw print will be on the clues. Blue's Clues. <sighs> so, uh, now what should we do? Clean off the paw print. Clean off the paw print. Good thinking. But how should we do it? Ooh, look. What's your choice? Just click on it. Hey, what's this doing down there? <laughs> okay, back to my muffin. Steve, aren't you forgetting something? Uh, nope, don't think so. Got my muffin. No, your handy dandy notebook. Oh, right. My notebook. Got it right here. Cool. Now we can start our third and final treasure hunt and keep playing Blue's Clues to figure out what Magenta's favorite treasure is. So keep an eye out for three. Uh, 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 do you know? Prints. Paw prints, right. And for treasure bugs, um, do you know? Scrolls. Scrolls, yeah. Three of them. <laughs> Here you go, Steve. Ooh. It's our first scroll. And it's from Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Let's look at our treasure map. Let's start our last treasure hunt by putting our Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper sticker on our map. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Thanks, Mrs. Pepper. Now, let's read this treasure hunt scroll and see where it takes us. Okay, treasure hunters. Here's the hint. Go find someone round and pink. And you'll find our next scroll, I think. Hmm. Okay. We'll keep that in mind as we continue on our treasure hunt. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Knock, 
knock. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? Snow use. I can't find where I bury the treasure. <laughs> What is Magenta doing? Oh, looks like she's looking at photographs. <coughs> they do look kind of messed up. Would you like it if Blue and I helped you to find something to put your photos in? <coughs> Great, cool. We can do that. Wow! <coughs> <coughs> Know what my most treasured thing is? Being the one who gets to keep Steve's handy dandy notebook safe and sound when he's not using it. One of the things I treasure most in this room is the thinking chair. Yeah, because that's where I do most of my best thinking. Did you know that we're so close to the land of great discovery? Right here? Right now? Yeah, it's right through that doorway. Hi, Blue! If anybody asked me what my favorite treasure was, I'd say bubbles! Whoa! Whoa! Slippery bubbles! It's another beautiful sunny day. Perfect weather for a treasure hunt. Mail time, mail time, mail time. Guess what I got today? A postcard from Treasure Bug saying he's arriving here today for treasure hunt. Wow, hey, but he's already here. Guess the mail was a little slow this week. Hey, Blue, we're off to school. Guess how many pencils I'm holding up? Oh. oh! Yep, it's ten! How many pencils now? Oh. oh! One! That's right! Hi, Blue!
Look at all these things I have to clean up. Hey, Purple Kangaroo, you are a really good ball bouncer. You made it to 16. I'm a good ball bouncer, Steve, but I'm not a good ball putter away. Or I don't know where it goes. It's only my second day at school. Ball, 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 ball. Oh, hey, maybe we can help Purple Kangaroo out. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Purple Kangaroo, why don't you let us put that ball away for you? Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Blue. See you at our time. Bye. Whee! I'm going to mix blue and yellow and make green. Now yellow and red and I made orange. Now I'm going to mix blue and red and make purple. Like me, purple kangaroo. Come on, Blue. I'll race you to the park. Hey. Wow. Did you see that? Blue just skidooed right into Recycle Town. Come on. Hey, Blue. Wait for us. Do we can too. Wow! It's Recycle Town. Everything here is made out of recycled stuff. Now that is cool. Well, how about that? I got me some visitors. Name's Al. Al Aluminum, mayor of Recycle Town. Hey, Al. I'm Steve, and this is Blue. We sure love Recycle Town. Do you need any help? Sure do. Looking for volunteers, in fact. This here heap of stuff needs to be recycled. The things need to be put in their right places. Waste not, want not, you know. Volunteering to help? You're hired! So where do you think that goes? You betcha! Where do you suppose that could go? By cracky, that's it! Hmm, I wonder where that goes. Hope you can figure it out. Yes, indeedy! Where do you suppose that could go? By cracky, that's it! Well, as I live and breathe, where did that old photo album come from? Bow, bow, bow. You got a use for this? Because frankly, it's in fine shape. And you might have a better use for it than I do. Bow, bow. 
I think I could think up ways to recycle almost anything. Like paper cups. Attach two of them to either end of a string and what do you got? A play telephone. I like to skidoo. Do you? See a clue? Where? Over there! Oh, I see it now. On this easel. You know what we need? Our handy dandy notebook. Right. Have you done this before or something? You'll help me draw this, right? Okay. So will you help me draw this clue by using the shapes? Which three of these shapes make up our clue? Cool! That's where that shape goes! Yeah, that shape goes there! Cool! That looks like the clue to me! The easel has a rectangle shape, a line for the tray, and some rectangle shapes for the legs and the top. That was our first clue! Okay, so, part of Magenta's favorite treasure is an easel. Hmm, I wonder what the treasure could be. Do you know? Guess we better look for two more clues. I heard you're on a treasure hunt. Yeah, Treasure Bug said so. In fact, he said he was hiding in the... Don't say it, pal. We don't want to give away the secret. Uh-uh. Treasure Bug said after your treasure hunt, you're going to get to go to the land of great discovery. The land of great discovery. I've always wanted to go there.
That photo album is perfect for Magenta to put her photos in, but it's empty. All the photos will just slide out. We still need something for the photos to go on. It's a ball! It's a ball! She wants to know if we found anything to put her pictures in. Not yet. Hello, Blue. Hello, Blue. Blue, Blue! That's a lot of paper, Mrs. Pepper. Yes. Take some, if you like. We are planning to use some of it to write down our most treasured recipes. Yes. Orange salad, cranberry tart, blueberry upside down cake. Mmm. Sounds interesting. Especially the blueberry upside down cake. Thanks. and paper. Sure, of course, Magenta. Magenta needs help putting her photos in order. They're all mixed up. We can help her, can't we? Wow, these are some great pictures, Magenta. But you're right, they are mixed up. Hey. Can you help Magenta put the pictures in the right order so they tell a story? Cool. Wow, I think these show the hatching of a chick. Amazing. That's it. Great job. Wow. This is when the hen had laid her egg. Then one day we noticed a crack in the shell. The crack got bigger and bigger until it was a big hole. And then who popped out? A baby chick. Cool photos. Rawr, rawr. Hey, look at that. An arrow. Looks to me like there may be some more pictures to put back in order. Hey, Magenta, these pictures show you painting. Now those pictures tell a story. Rawr. Magenta loves to paint. And this is when you started to paint a picture. I couldn't figure out what it was going to be. You painted more and more of it, and still I wasn't sure what it was. And then I saw you had painted a picture of my house with windows and a purple door and everything. Cool. <coughs> now those pictures are cool. <coughs> These photos are about shovel and pail growing flowers. Now those pictures tell a story. That shovel sure loves to dig in the garden. Now they're sprinkling in some seeds. They watered the seeds until they sprouted. And now, look at their beautiful flowers. Great pictures, Magenta. Remember when you built a snowman? You did it again. Cool. Wow, wow. See, that's when the snow started falling. You and Blue were so happy. You both loved the snow. Hey, I love the snow. When there was enough snow, you both started to build a snowman. Wow. It was a great snowman. And wait a minute, isn't that my scarf? Wow, wow. I thought it looked familiar. Ooh, and look at that. He looks so happy. Of course, who wouldn't be happy if he had a carrot for a nose? You have some really great pictures, Magenta. Rawr, rawr. Oh, look, this is when you came to my house for lunchtime, Magenta. Hmm. Looks like none of those were in quite the right places. Rawr, rawr, 
rawr, rawr, rawr. Magenta has an idea how these photos start. Whoa, you're good at this. Rawr, rawr, rawr. This was the day you came over to my house to eat lunch, Magenta. You were waiting for a peanut butter and banana sandwich. It's one of my favorites, too. Rawr. You got a whole sandwich, a perfect square. Once you got it on your plate, you liked your sandwich so much, Magenta, that before long, there were nothing but crumbs left on the plate. Rawr, rawr. Cool photos. Rawr, rawr. Here's Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper baking bread. Great. Now see if you can put these photos back in order so they tell a story. That doesn't look quite right. Bro, how about... Now those pictures tell a story. There's Mr. Salt dumping in the flour and Mrs. Pepper putting in the water. Mr. Salt worked so hard kneading the dough. Then Mrs. Pepper took the dough and shaped it into a big loaf. After they baked it nice and brown, it smelled delicious. Tasted pretty good too. Great pictures, Magenta. Remember, this was when Purple Kangaroo got his new goldfish. That's right. Hey, are you good at this or what? Wow. See, he's getting the fish's new home ready. He's putting gravel in the bottom of the bowl and pouring in the water. Hey, check out that castle he's putting in. Cool. And there's the fish, swimming around its new castle. That is one happy fish, don't you think? Cool photos. Wow, wow. Remember when the weather changed from really sunny to really stormy? Remember that? That's right. Hey, are you good at this or what? Wow. You and Blue were playing outside. At first, it was nice and sunny. Then the clouds in the sky started to get bigger and darker. And the rain started to fall. In fact, it started to pour. It was raining so hard that you both had to take cover under Blue's umbrella. Cool photos. Wow. Well, I think these pictures show a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. Now those pictures tell a story. Rawr. This must be the day that Blue found that fuzzy caterpillar. Rawr, rawr, rawr. After a while, the caterpillar spun a cocoon around herself. Then after two weeks, the cocoon opened and out came a butterfly. The caterpillar actually turned into a butterfly. Then it flapped and fluttered and flew with its beautiful new wings. Rawr. You have some really great pictures, Magenta. Rawr. Oh yeah, this was when Blue built a puppet theater. Whoa, you're good at this. Rawr, rawr, rawr. It was a rainy day and Blue didn't know what to do. So we took a big cardboard box and we cut a rectangle out of it. Then she painted it lots of beautiful colors and took an old shirt of mine and made it into a curtain. Then she put on a really great puppet show for Magenta and me. I never knew Blue was such a good puppeteer. Did you, Magenta? Rawr. Now those pictures are cool. Rawr, rawr. Here are pictures of Baby Bear's bath time. Are these cool photos or what? See if you can, you know, put them in order. Hmm. Looks like these aren't in the right places. Rawr, rawr. Try them again, okay? Oh, you're good at this. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Look, Baby Bear's about to take a bath. There goes the water. Oh, it's a bubble bath. Baby Bear is up to her chin in soapy, bubbly water. After her bath, Baby Bear dries herself. She's nice and clean. Cool photos. Rawr, rawr. These are the pictures you took of a tadpole becoming a frog. You did it again. Cool. Rawr, rawr. Blue found what we thought was a little fish. But then one day she noticed that the little fish was growing little legs. 
and its tail was shrinking. And before long, the little fish grew bigger legs, and its tail was almost disappearing. Then the next time she looked, she saw it wasn't a fish at all. It was a tadpole that had turned into a frog. You have some really great pictures, Magenta. Wow, wow. Remember when you and Blue had this milkshake party? Oh, that was great. Now those pictures tell a story. First, you ate off all the whipped cream. Then you sipped. Mmm, -mm. strawberry. Your favorite. You sipped some more. You and Blue and strawberry milkshakes. You and Blue finished your milkshakes at exactly the same time. Rawr, rawr. You have some really great pictures, Magenta. Rawr, rawr. These photos show Felt Friend getting dressed in the morning. You did it again. Cool. Rawr, rawr. See? First we have a t-shirt, and then his shirt and his pants, his socks and his shoes, nice high tops. And next the felt friend puts on his coat and hat. Looks like he's now all dressed up and ready to go outside. Yep, cool photos. Rawr, rawr. These pictures show Baby Bear's day from morning to night. That's right. Hey, are you good at this or what? Wow. Once upon a time, Baby Bear woke up in the morning and she went to school where she played all morning long. She played so hard that day that at night she ate her dinner all up and fell fast asleep by the light of the moon. Cool photos. Wow, wow. Here's Shovel and Pail building a sandcastle. Think you can put these in order to tell Magenta's story? I guess you're right, Magenta. Maybe we should try these again. Whoa, you're good at this. Rawr, rawr, rawr. We all went to the beach, and Shovel and Pail started building a huge sandcastle. It was the biggest one they'd ever made. It almost looked like a real castle. They made doors and windows and a moat and everything. Then, all of a sudden, a wave knocked it down. At first, Shovel and Pail were sad, but then do you remember what happened? They built another one. Great pictures, Magenta. Wow. Magenta, you took these pictures of Orange Kitten shooting a basket. That's right. Hey, are you good at this or what? Wow. Orange Kitten sure likes playing basketball. I bet she's thinking about how high she has to throw it. She shoots. It's sailing right for the basket. Score! Orange Kitten makes a basket. That's two points for Orange Kitten. Cool photos. Rawr, rawr. Here are the pictures of Magenta and Blue waiting for the apples to grow. Now those pictures tell a story. This one was in the winter. You and Blue were sitting under the apple tree. It didn't have a leaf on it. Then when we looked at the tree in the spring, there were new leaves and blossoms all over it. Oh, this one was taken in early summer. And look what's growing. Little apples. You and Blue couldn't wait for them to grow. And how about those apples now? We had so many of them last summer. Blue couldn't wait to share them with you, Magenta. Wow. Cool photos. Wow, wow. Magenta, remember this? The first day you slid down the playground slide. Now those pictures tell a story. Rawr. You were a little worried, remember? Rawr, rawr. But you were very brave. You climbed up the ladder all by yourself. And down you went. Rawr. After that first time, you loved sliding and slid down the slide over and over again. Rawr. Now those pictures are cool. Rawr, rawr. Oh yeah, decorating Blue's birthday cake. Remember that? You did it again. Cool. Rawr, 
Rawr. Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper are making somebody a birthday cake. Hmm, interesting shape. Ooh, it looks good. Blue icing. I wonder who it was for. And look, there's some writing. It says, Happy Birthday Blue. Thought so. Wow, it's for blue. Do you think blue can blow out all those candles? You do? Cool. You have some really great pictures, Magenta. Rawr, rawr. This is when Slippery went sailing on his boat. Are these cool photos or what? Oh, I guess you're right, Magenta. Maybe we should try these again. Now those pictures tell a story. Rawr. Slippery loves to take baths in the bathtub. Uh-oh. There goes Slippery. Great shot. Slippery landed in the boat. And Slippery sails away. To the other side of the tub, that is. You have some really great pictures, Magenta. Rawr, rawr. Magenta, this was when you and Blue played grocery store. That's right. Hey, are you good at this or what? Rawr. There you are, pushing the empty grocery cart. Were you wondering what to buy, Magenta? Rawr. Oh, it looks like Blue helped you take things off the shelves. Rawr, rawr. Wow, you put all those groceries into your cart, Magenta. Rawr, rawr, rawr. It's checkout time. You bought a lot of things, Magenta. Pretty much cleaned out the store. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You have some really great pictures, Magenta. Rawr, rawr. Hey, this is when Blue bought a balloon at the backyard fair. Whoa, you're good at this. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Blue's at the backyard fair. Where is she going? Rawr, rawr. It's Cash Register's prize tent, and Blue has her eye on a balloon. The balloons cost one blue dollar each. Looks like Blue bought a spotted balloon. Colored blue, of course. Now those pictures are cool. Rawr. This was the time that the Felt friends rode their boat all the way to the island. That's right. Hey, are you good at this or what? Rawr. Our felt friends, Fred and Felicia, wanted to sail away to an island. So, they went down to the dock to their rowboat. They got into their boat and began to row away. And they rowed and rowed some more, all the way across the lake. And when they got to the island, they put up a felt flag and pretended it was their very own island. Now those pictures are cool. Rawr, rawr. Here's Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper baking bread. Okay, let's go. Maybe we can come back and do some more another time. A clue! A clue! You see a clue? Where? On the picture. Oh, there's a clue on this picture of blue and magenta together. Hey, maybe doing something together is part of magenta's most treasured thing. Yeah. You know what we need? Our handy dandy notebook. Right. Will you help me draw this clue? We're ready to draw this clue. Can you help me? You can draw it by using just three of these shapes. Cool. Cool. That looks like the clue to me. Start with a rectangle, then draw a square inside it. Now we need a blue crown to draw a picture of blue. And a magenta crown to draw a picture of magenta. Right there. It's blue and magenta together. Hey, that was our second clue. It looks like an easel and a picture of magenta and blue are two parts of Magenta's favorite treasure. I wonder what her treasure could be. 
Do you know? Guess we need to find that, uh, you know, third clue. Listen to these. Mrs. Pepper picked the peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Mrs. Pepper pick? One. <laughs> One? Oh, what a smart paprika. Great, let's check out our treasure map. That's where our next sticker will go. Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper! Want to read our scroll again? Cool. Okay, treasure hunters. Here's the hint. Go find someone round and pink. And you'll find our next scroll, I think. Hmm. Okay. We'll keep that in mind as we continue on our treasure hunt. Just click on the yellow... Mail time, mail time. <laughs> Off to the park. Let's jog. Park. <laughs> Wow, did you see that? Blue just skidooed right into Recycle Town. Come on. Hey, Blue, wait for us. Blue skidoo, we can too. Wow, it's Recycle Town. Everything here is made out of recycled stuff. Now that is cool. Here's a tongue twister for you. How many cans can a recycler recycle if a recycler can recycle cans? Say that three times fast. You know, there's so much stuff you can recycle, like tires. Blue and I made a swing out of one in our front yard. I like to skidoo. Do you? Fall! Dum, dum, dum. 
Hey, Blue, we're off to school. That says school. Guess how many pencils I'm holding up. Oh. oh. Hey, you're smart. Four is right. If you have anything you need me to put away, just let me know. Okay? Ball. where this goes. You know what? I get to be the supply closet monitor today. I get to figure out all the stuff that's in the closet. Do you want to help? You can be a closet monitor too. We have lots of stuff here to take care of. Will you help? We can play lights on, lights off. I'm going to take something away. And you have to figure out what it is. Okay? Now take a good look. Here it goes. Ready, set. Lights off. Lights on. Okay, now can you figure out what's missing? Just click on the picture of the missing thing, okay? You're right. It was a paintbrush. Purple Kangaroo needed that in the art room. Yes, he did. Okay, now this time, I'm going to put a new thing on the shelf, and you have to figure out what it is. So look carefully before I turn off the lights. Ready, set. Lights off. Lights on. What's added now? Can you show me the thing that's been added by clicking the picture down below? Great. Can you show me the can you show me the thing that's been added? A boat. You're right. Great job. Take a good look at all the things because pretty soon I'm going to put one more thing on the shelves. Here I go. Ready, set. Lights off. Lights on. Okay, so now what's new on the shelves? Hmm, that's not the new thing. Try again, okay? Lock. That's it. You are a lights on, lights off expert. Take a really good look at all the stuff because I'm going to add one more thing. Okay, ready, set, lights off. Lights on. OK, 
Okay, so now what's new on the shelf? Want to go? Okay, playing with you was fun. Oh, Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack, do another round. Coming up. Okay, now look carefully before I turn off the lights. Because I'm going to take another thing away. Ready, set. Lights off. Lights on. Okay, so now what's missing? Hmm, that's not the missing thing. Try again, okay? A whistle! You're right! Great job! Take a really good look at all the stuff because I'm going to take one thing away. Okay, ready, set. Lights off! Lights on. What's missing now? Glue! You're right! Great job! Take a good look at all the things because pretty soon I'm going to put one more thing on the shelves. Here I go. Ready, set. Lights off. Lights on. Can you tell me what's been added? Want to go? Okay, playing with you was fun. Really? Where? On the paintbrush. Oh, there it is. A paintbrush. You know what we need? Our handy dandy notebook. Right. Will you help? Cool. I'll need your help drawing this clue. You can do it by using three of these shapes. Yeah, that shape goes there. Cool. That looks like the clue to me. The paintbrush is made up of a long, skinny triangle shape. A line here, and the shape of a drop on top. Hey, that's our third clue. Now, we have an easel, a picture of magenta in blue, and a paintbrush. We have all three clues. Do you know what this means? We're ready to sit in our thinking chair. Let's go. Okay, now that we're in our thinking chair, let's think. So, we're trying to figure out what Magenta's favorite treasure is. And our clues are a paintbrush, an easel, and a picture of Magenta and Blue. So, what could Magenta's favorite treasure possibly be? What do you think? Magenta's favorite treasure is painting Blue's house. Could that be it? I think it's... it's not it. I don't see an easel. Do you? I guess her favorite treasure is something else. Yeah. Magenta's most treasured thing is to hide behind an easel when she plays hide-and-seek with Blue. That's it. No. Wait a minute. I don't see a paintbrush anywhere, do you? It's got to be something else. <laughs> yes, that's it. Magenta's favorite treasure is painting a picture on an easel with blue. Hey, that's great. We just figured out Blue's clues. 
We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues. Because we're really smart. That's right, Blue. Let's go tell Magenta that we figured out her favorite treasure. Come on. Hey, Magenta, guess what? We figured out what your favorite treasure is. It's painting pictures with Blue. Magenta has paints she wants to share with you in Blue. Wow, look at all that great painting stuff. I'm sure glad we figured out all of Blue's clues, aren't you? So, on your mark, dip your brush, and go paint! Oh, one other thing. If you want Magenta and Blue to help start your picture, just click on them. They love to paint with you. Fill with paint. Dark blue. Undo. Oh, it looks like they want you to finish the picture. So, if you want to use Magenta and Blue's drawing on this page, you'll have to erase your picture first. Do you want to erase it? Hey, wow. Magenta and Blue started a picture. Hey, maybe you can draw your favorite treasure in that treasure chest. Paints! Purple kangaroo. Black. Purple. Paint. Black. Magenta. Blue. Black. Paint brushes. Like purple kangaroo. White. Stamps. Light blue. Back to the treasure hunt. It made Magenta so happy to paint with you in blue. Hey, and when we find Treasure Bug, guess what we can tell him? That we figured out Magenta's favorite treasure. Knock, knock. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? Snow... <laughs> mail time! Mail time! Mail time! That's right. Our scroll led us to Tickety. You found me! We sure did. Now, 
Let's look at our handy dandy treasure map. Let's put the tickety sticker where it belongs. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Oh, look, Steve. Your friend Treasure Bug left something here. I almost forgot. Tickety. Thank you. We've been looking for that. Ooh. Thanks, Blue. Let's read our next scroll. Here's the treasure hunt hint. Look for someone who eats nuts and has a big bushy tail. And he will have the next scroll without fail. All right. Sheesh. I wonder who that could be. Guess we're going to have to find out. One, two, three. Follow me. Yep. That's it. This is so cool. Now we can stick down the squirrel sticker on our map. Just click on the yellow arrow. We are getting so close. Okay, here goes. Come hunt for the X. It shouldn't take hours. Just look for a place that has lots of flowers. Wow, did you hear that? Do you know where that is? I know right where the X is. It's time to go on the very last part of the hunt. The treasure hunt, that is. Just... As in, X marks the spot. As in, the treasure chest must be under this X. It is I. Good job, Blue. If you know Magenta's favorite treasure, the one that is her greatest pleasure, I will give you the final key to the land of great discovery. Hey, treasure bug, we figured it out. Magenta's most treasured thing is painting a picture with blue. You have done it again! Then I have something to you from me. It is the last very special key. Use it to unlock the land of great discovery. That's it! The last key! Guess where we can go now? Yeah! So, does this look like a key to you, this paint kit? Maybe we have to paint something. Yeah. Do you know? Right there! Right there! It's a... a... Ba -ba -ba. It's a rainbow! But it's black and white. Weird. A rainbow! This is great. You can paint the rainbow, and then Blue and I can skidoo down it. Green! Blue! Green! Blue! Green! Blue! Wow, that rainbow looks great. Hey, Blue just skidooed down the rainbow into the land of great discovery. Let's go. Wow, gold <laughs> at the end of a rainbow. It
It's chocolate! This must be the land of great discovery! Chocolate is definitely one of my most treasured things. Let's look at our treasure map. Just click on the yellow arrow when you're ready to leave. Ooh, what's over there? Ooh. Ooh. Hey, look at that tree. It's growing some of my most treasured things. <laughs> and look at that tree. It's growing some of Blue's most treasured things. This place is great. Oh, you're not going to believe this. That's your name. This must be your very own land of great discovery. Wow. Hello, Steve. Hello, Blue. It's the treasure bug. Hey. How did you get here before us? That's amazing. And you'll find many other amazing things here. Like this. Your very own discovery kit. A discovery kit? It's a discovery kit. What's a discovery kit? It lets you make your land of great discovery into anything you want it to be. Anything you want it to be. Wow. How cool is that? Go ahead. Go. Have fun. Bow, bow. Bye. Have fun. Bow, bow. Take a peek. When I count to two, you'll find great things in here to do. One, two. This is all for you. Oh, just look at this. This kit has everything you need to fill up the land of great discovery with your greatest treasures. All you must do is pick your pleasure. Just remember this. Whatever's in this window when you close the kit, we'll be waiting for you back in the land of great discovery, ready to stick down wherever you please. Bow! 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 Bow. Bow. Bow, bow, bow. Great sticker! Now feel free to paint this sticker, draw on it, or add another sticker. When pick up a marker or the paint bucket if you want to paint, okay? Dark blue! Light blue, paint brown, light blue, fill with paint, brown, yellow orange, markers, paint yellow, Things at the beach, friends, things at animals. Oh great! Let's head back and see where you want to put your very first sticker. To place your sticker, just click anywhere. If you want to use that sticker again, just click down here. That, use that hand to move a sticker.
Discovery stickers. That looks good there. Discovery stickers. Discovery stickers. We grow on lines, on lines, and once we grow on lines. Discovery stickers. Good choice. The Discovery Kit. If you want to make a new sticker, just click the Erase Everything button. Are you sure you want to erase all of your things at friends? Green! Hey, that's your favorite color. And how do I know that? Steve told me. Magenta! What a treasure! Now where are you going to put it? Are you done for now? You are. Great. How was it? Really? That's so cool. Thank you so much for all your help. You are an amazing treasure. Now it's time for so long. But we sing just one more song. <laughs> Thanks for doing your part. You sure are smart. You know what me and you and my dog do. We wanna do. Bye bye. See you later. Bye. Hi. Mailbox here again. At your service. Do you wanna play one of the treasure hunts or go visit the land of great discovery? Just click where you want to go.